Right then, um, what we need to do now is get these images so they're lined up, uh, which at the moment they're not. If I show you why that is, if we look at the front, you can see that those two images aren't lined up at all. They're probably the, the wrong size, I think. If you look at the back, they almost line up. Um, so we've got that problem there. They're also not quite perfectly aligned along the, the center axis, so that needs sorting out as well. So that's what we'll do in this video. So the first thing we're going to sort out is this top view because once this is done we can set that as the scale and just adjust these other two front and side um, in relation to this. So let's look at this one first. Um, what we're going to do is if you have a look along this center line you can see that uh, the plane isn't perfectly on it. You can see it's over to the, the right hand side of it so that's what needs sorting out first. So I'm going to select my image plane by dragging the box around one of the corners. Uh, if you can't select it in your orthographic views, try uh, selecting it in your perspective view. That should always work. Okay, and then make sure you've got your channel box open. If you haven't, just press uh, Control and A. So like, let's say if you've got your attribute editor open, hit Control and A and that will go to your channel box. Or you can click on your channel box tab just here. And this gives us the attributes we need to change. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is move this over on the x-axis. I know it's the x-axis because I can see the x down here pointing that out. And I can also see that it's going in sort of the opposite direction on the x-axis, so I know it's going to be a, a minus value as well. So on image center, so you might just have to scroll down a little bit, um, but on image center what you need to do is where it says x, we're going to type in a minus number and you can just sort of try and work this out. So I'll try and minus one to start with. Oh, that's way too far. So if I try it, minus 0 0.5, just half what we've got there. No, that's still too far. Okay, minus 0 0.25, let's go half again. Oh, that looks like it could be spot on. Okay, let's just check the front, make sure that I'm happy with that. Uh, yeah, so that's the top view done. Lovely. Um, what I'm going to do now then is I'm going to line up this side view in relation to that. So let's have a look at this. I'm going to use the perspective view a little bit more on this one so that I can use it as a comparison. So, um, could have really just saved that there, couldn't I? Never mind. Um, the back's not too far away, but the front's nowhere near. So I'm going to select uh, the side view, in fact and just try and get this right. So I'm going to reduce the size. Let's try uh, 28. So where it says width and height, select both of them and then just type in whichever number. So I'm going to go for 28. Now the front there looks spot on, but I don't think I'm happy with the back. You can see the back on this bottom view, this top view, goes here, but my side view goes to there. So I'm actually going to up it a little bit. Let's try 28 and a half okay so that's not quite there on this one but it's a little bit too over on this one so if I just try nudging it to the side as well so again I can see it's on my z-axis uh, and it looks like it's a minus value as well so let's try minus uh, 0.2 oh that looks like it could be good okay so the front does appear to be level and the back Appears to be level as well. Okay, that's two for two. Beautiful. Right, so all that is left then is uh, sorting out the front view. Now, again, I already know there's a problem with this because I've seen it. It's not perfectly aligned on this front axis. Uh, you can see that the middle's there. So, again, on the x axis, uh, because it's going in the direction x is pointing, it's going to be a positive attribute. So, I'm just going to change the center of this one to. 0.2 has been pretty lucky for me so far. Let's try that. Ah, oh, nice. Okay, so 0.2 has worked again. That's now centered. So what I need to do now is go back into my perspective view and um, just check out the scale. So I've just got to use a couple of landmarks to see if these are work, worked out right. So top of the cockpit here is below the top of the cockpit um, on my front view. And if we just go and have a look under here, this intake here and this intake here, this one's higher. So I think I want to drop the height 
of this front view. So that would be my image center Y. Y is always up and down. Because I'm going down, it'll be a minus value. Um, let's try 0 0.1. Minus, sorry, minus 0.1. That's not far enough, minus 0 0.2. That now looks like that's lined up. Let's have a look under here. Um, this intake looks like it's lined up as well. Okay, <clears throat> I'm now happy with that. I'm fairly satisfied that these are all to the same sort of scale. They're all centered on the axis that they should be. The only issue I've got now is that they're right in my way. I need to move them. So, because um, I'm going to be modeling on this grid in a minute. So I want to just move them all sort of 25 units um, off the grid. So I'll start with this front one, and I'm going to be moving it back on the z-axis. So let's put in minus 25. There you go, and that one goes out of the way. Then this top one, that's going to be at minus 25 on the y-axis. And then my side, I can see that's going back on the x-axis. So minus 25, beautiful. So they're now all out of the way, so I can model on the grid. Uh, but if I look here, nothing's really changed, they're still where I want them to be. That's spot on. Now we're ready to do some modeling. So at this stage, it's important to save your file. So file, save scene as, and I'm gonna call it Spitfire. Because we took the time to set the project, you can see that it's in my Spitfire folder and it's dropped me in the scenes folder. Save. Beautiful. Right, this is now ready to go. So we're gonna do some um, box modeling with this in the next video. I will see you there.